Okay, so, hi YouTubers. Uh, I really wanted to have the NES Classic, but I wasn't able to buy one before Nintendo took it out of production. So, I wanted the SNES Mini, but I wasn't able to buy it because they are already booked. And if, you know, if I could book it here in Sweden, it's uh, something like 160 US dollars, which is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Uh, so, uh, and, uh, and actually I prefer the looks of the NES. So I went ahead and bought a NES Classic Mini uh, clone from China. And guess what? It's it's uh, really looks really good. This con this uh, console is uh, great. So I'm gonna use this and put a Raspberry Pi inside, and I'm gonna show you how to put the Raspberry Pi inside, and you will be able to have a great looking console in your living room that you can play all the games you want to play, not just the 50 games you would have with the NES and SNES, but all the classic games from Sega, Nintendo, and Atari, Intellivision, ColecoVision, and even arcades, so there are thousands of games you can play. Even the Game & Watch games are available. So, well, it's actually, I this turns out pretty good because this is going to be a, uh, something I use a lot more than I would use the, the NES Mini or the SNES Classic. So, well, I'm still pretty happy. I, I have a wireless controllers and even uh, the ability to, to play this on my old uh, uh, TV, CRT. TVs because this has the composite out, which the new one doesn't. So, well, well, if you want to see the video how to 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 uh, add a Raspberry Pi inside, just check the video. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, <clears throat> so here's all the tools needed to do this mod: uh, a knife, six millimeter drill, uh, some plier or cutter or whatever you call it. Um, uh, Philips uh, screwdriver, Philips one, uh, some epoxy, and uh, some kind of uh, wood or plastic in s this size or similar, could be a little bit higher, I guess. Uh, well, I'll show you later what this is used for. Okay, um, I might use an old iron to melt my hole uh, in the case instead of using the drill bit, we'll see that later, okay. Okay, so here is the console itself in the box. You can buy it without the box or with the box. I recommend you buying with the box because the box is really nice actually. It's a high quality box. And uh, here is the console. I already opened it before. Um, and this really, for me, I think this really looks great. The finish is, is uh, it's, it's great actually. Uh, it got the ventilation holes and so you can see through there it's open I, I move this so you know uh, power and reset button I might uh, actually use the power button just to turn the LED on and off uh, I'll do uh, maybe a video on that later or add it on the, in the end of the video this video I don't know it would be nice to use the power to power on and off the Raspberry Pi. I guess that could be done if you want to. I don't think I'm gonna bother. The, they are just glued into place. And then you need a Phillips one screwdriver. You have four screws. Remove them. That's it. Okay, keep the screws. Put them aside. Okay, here's the top. It's actually like you can a nice finish with the screws, and I, I like it. It feels sturdy. The plastic is not flimsy at all. It's, it's, it's nice. Okay, so here's the inside of the 500 billion game control, not too much as you can see. All the games is on one card, 
This is just for power and uh, video output. And this is for the buttons and uh, the hand controls. So all you do is remove this. And this. Save them. And then just pull this up. And you could just, I guess, cut this. Because you don't need it for now. Uh, so just rip it off if you don't, don't want to take your time to cut it. Or you just cut it. I will cut mine right off. Oh, this hurts. Even though it's just a NES Mini <laughs> clone ripoff. But it's, it's, it's not that bad a console. The, the controls is. Not great, but but the games works good, actually. And five hundred games, uh, maybe it's not five hundred games, but hundreds of games, I guess. So okay, this is what you need, and then you'll need your uh, RetroPie. Okay, so I done some measuring best I can, and uh, as far I can t as far as I can tell, this uh, distance here is. 1.4 uh, centimeters, 14 millimeters, and from the top, uh, from the top, from the from the back, it's five millimeters down, and from the, the lo lower front end here, it's three millimeters down. Which, I'm gonna put a hole just just in, next to the top here. It's gonna be just as just touching the, the upper part, I guess. Almost touching. Okay, so I decided to uh, go the easy way and try to make this hole for the audio jack with the, my iron. And yeah. This is not healthy, I guess. You should have your window open if you do this. Okay, so I just melted a hole and I just realized I could use the drill bit by hand maybe and make this hole. Now it's centered. I can just try. Okay. So I'm in. This hole should be pretty okay, I guess. I hope so. Let's try putting the Raspberry Pi in the hole. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. Yeah, it fits perfectly. Actually. Yeah. That'd be, good. be pretty good, I guess. Okay, so that fits good. Now I need to trim this piece a little bit also, so I could get the HDMI cable or connector to get out. I guess you can see you need to trim a couple of millimeters on each side there. And then you need to make the hole bigger for the... Um, micro USB as well. That's a shame, but you need to do that. So, I will use a knife to trim this, or maybe cut it, it with the, the, the cutter, maybe. Why not? Let's try that. Don't take too much. Pretty good. I need to go maybe a millimeter more. Okay. 
jetzt haben wir Luxi. Mm, I think that will be good. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. I may, might need to trim a little bit on the side as well. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, I think I have to cut a little bit piece of that one on the side here. You can see the HDMI connector doesn't 100% fit here. Hope this focus. I don't know if it does. Does it? I have no idea. Hopefully you can see, or you could see when you try this out. You need to shave like a millimeter. On this side or that side, but depending on where you put the hole to get this uh, exactly to fit, also. And then you need to cut away a piece of for the micro USB. Well, I'll, I'll cut it out and then I'll turn off. I'm gonna use the iron to get piece out here for the micro USB. I hope that turns out okay. Don't forget to open your window or something. This smells bad. It's not healthy for you. Okay, so I guess I'm done cutting now. It's not perfect by any means. And it looks like this. And I might go back and do some trimming just to get it a little bit nicer looking. But. Uh, it's okay. It's easy to go back if you want later to make it perfect. Also make sure you get this Raspberry Pi all the way in. So and also try out maybe for a HDMI cable that it fits. It does perfectly for me all the way in. Yeah, also the micro USB fits all the way in, I think. Yes. So I'm I'm happy. It's okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to use the wooden piece, okay? So I want to hold this raspberry in place. So I'm going to uh, take this wood, wooden piece and just glue it down here in the back. Just as tight as tight as you can against the raspberry pi. Um, you could if you want you can make a little cut here or something for the fit for the board. I won't do that. I'm just gonna glue it as tight as I can against the Raspberry Pi, almost push it out. And then you will be able to just get the Raspberry Pi easy in and out, even when it's all complete. So uh, I want to, to be able to remove the Pi if I wanted to. So this is why I do this. So, just use some uh, paper, sandpaper, or your knife or something here in the bottom, so the epoxy glue will uh, uh, get a real good good grip. Then uh, just glue the wooden piece or whatever you have here with the Raspberry Pi in place. Um, and then you just have to put something to, to hold it here. Um, well, that's up to you. Put something behind this and just put it. Put something here so it presses up against the board while its glue is uh, hardening, whatever you call it. I'm gonna use, I think, uh, a clamp, whatever it's called, like so, something. So I'll let it glow. Uh, and let the uh, glue settle down, okay? So that's really easy, it's as easy as it gets, I guess. Uh, I'm, I also found these um, nylon screws, and they happen to be the perfect height, same height as these are, minus the, the insert. So I'm gonna at least 
use a couple of them. In the back here I won't be able to get uh, the <laughs> red paper out, I guess, if I put... I could put uh, a stand there, there and there, and leave it there. Otherwise you won't get, you won't be able to fit it in and get it out. You also have these already from the beginning. They will put a pretty good stand for the ventilation on the other side. So, well, just gonna, in the back here, the pressing house, the Raspberry Pi, so I need to make a grid bound, so I'm gonna use some sandpaper, yes. In the bottom of this plastic case, just rough it up a little bit, just to make the epoxy get a good surface to stick to. You don't need to do much. The epoxy is really strong. Okay, I think that's enough. I hope so. I'm getting tired, I need, I need food. Okay. Oh, so you mix your epoxy. I'm gonna just do the mixing straight away on the. Why not? Because. Why not? Because you can. Okay. I don't need that much glue. I think that's enough. More than enough, I guess. So like that. And I'm gonna get my pie. Get that into place. Push the wooden piece against the back of the pie. Use my clamp. Now it's up to you if you want to add something here. Just keep it pushed while the glue is settled down. And then I'm gonna use this. Hope this works. That's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna push it down, push it down. You need it to be really snug. This okay, I'm happy. Now this glue need to harden for some bit, depending on what kind of uh, epoxy you use. This is actually several hours, so I guess I can get some food now. Um, there's like 15 minutes epoxy that would be great for me today, but I use this one. So uh, let this settle, and uh, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, so this is the final look of it. It's just uh, the glue is hardened, and I just put everything in. It's easy to access the pie if you want to. You can access the SD. It's okay, it's easy to put it back. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more things, I think. Add uh, uh, connectors so you can turn the LED on and off with the switch. Just the LED, and maybe root a USB port to be able to connect an external device like an extra uh, controller or USB memory if you want to. Uh, it's also you can access the top ports no problem without removing the, the pie. That's nice. So I might add a magnetic uh, case so it's really even more easy to access this and close it. If you want. Uh, well, I'm happy with the looks. It's great. I'm gonna use this in my living room now and well, I'm happy. So if you want to see more videos uh, about this or I have uh, other projects on the way, well, subscribe or give me the thumbs up. That would be really nice. Hope you like this video.